Twice a year, the seaside town of Whitby is taken over by hordes of eccentric visitors for the goth weekend. It began in 1994 with a small group of people who chose Whitby for its Dracula connection and ghostly reputation. It is now a festival in its own right and people travel from far and wide to participate in what this quiet town has to offer. I went down to find out why visitors flock here just for the weekend. I'm Andrew. Uh, we came to Whitby because uh, we just enjoy dressing up and showing off. The way everyone dives into it, takes part, and the fact that the whole of Whitby just looks, you know, it doesn't matter what genre of the goth style you're into, whether it's the steampunk, the Victorian, the romantic, everybody seems to just get on with it and enjoy it, and it's a good family event as well for people when they're going out strolling. Yeah, well, if you like to dress up and mingle like the music and things, it's just great fun. The festival has developed quickly, with dozens of activities lined up for participants over a four-day weekend, from pub crawls to marketplaces, where everything from gothic art and custom sketches to headwear adorned with syringes and skulls are on offer. I spoke to Thomas Williford to find out why he loves Whitby Goth Weekend so much. I came all the way from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, just to come here for the Whitby Gothic Weekend. And this is what I do for a living. I've been coming here for about 15 years now. Uh, I think I've missed four Whitby's in 15 years, and it's been going on twice a year for quite some time now. It's very inclusive. There's a lot of cool things to see. You just every time you turn around the corner, look at that. Oh my god, look at their wearing. Look at that thing I just saw there. That's what I like about it.